Hey everyone, in today's hug, we're going to talk about your blood sugar. So my favorite way of regulating blood sugar is do not eat sugar, okay? Rip the Band-Aid off, throw the garbage out, and just stop now. I have been doing this now for about eight years. Every once in a while, I'll have a treat of like my mother-in-law's famous carrot cake, but very, very, very rarely because I, I pay for it the next day. Now, I follow a high-fat, moderate-protein, low-carb, ketogenic diet. It has supported me for many, many reasons, and but I'm actually not going to talk about that today, okay? That is the number one best way, in my opinion, to regulate blood sugar. However, today I'm going to give you some easy hacks that you can do without having to give up all your favorite treats, even though I recommend you do anyway. <laughs> okay, here's some herbs. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is the best herb to regulate your blood sugar. I have been putting it in my coffee every morning for, gosh, maybe a decade. And it adds like a spice of deliciousness. It also even boosts your metabolism. And along with that is ginger and turmeric. Now, I make a golden milk powder that I'll actually link below to this video so you can watch that whole hug. But it's called golden milk powder. And it has cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, cardamom, cloves, and black pepper. And it is divine. You take a half a teaspoon and mix it in a cup of coffee in the blender. And I also add a teaspoon of either butter or MCT oil. And it is like a treat, let me tell you. I love it. So the other thing you can do is have green tea. So green tea helps stabilize your blood sugar. And make sure you don't have too much because it has caffeine in it, okay? A lot of people don't even realize that. Another supplement actually that you can take with a meal to regulate blood sugar is berberine. That is a really helpful herb or a supplement that you can take with your meals. And last but not least, you can make bay leaf tea. So the last couple days I've talked about different herbal teas that you can make at home, super simple. So just take maybe like seven bay leaves and slice them up into like little slices <laughs> and put them in some water and let them simmer for maybe 15 minutes just like you did the other teas. Drain it and that bay leaf tea will be just so aromatic and it will help lower your blood sugar. Okay, but remember my favorite way is just don't raise it in the in the first place. Okay, you guys, let's close this happy Friday with a big fat juicy hug. And the water video will actually come on Monday because I really wanted to get this blood sugar one in for you. So have a beautiful weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week. Mwah. Bye for now.